All right, we back, we back, we back in the shadow. Back on stage, making the whole place a rattle. What's going on, y'all? So we back, back this week, you know. Hopefully our rooks can come out, do something good, you know what I mean? And uh, we can finally beat the 49ers for a change. So hopefully we can piece together some things that can help us beat San Francisco. Um... So yeah, let's get this underway. Um, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? All right, cool. Let's just jump right on to it. I'm not even gonna waste y'all time. So we've never beaten San Francisco, so we're gonna try to do that in this game here. All right, baby, let's get it. We in Arizona. We in Glendale. It's the NFL EA Sports. We've got Byron Murphy. Byron Murphy. He got the QB Byron nine freaking twice Murphy. last week with a pair of interceptions. It's the Cardinals and the 49ers. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. Depo. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, our matchup here in this one, as so many do, revolves around the quarterback position. We've got an interesting pairing here. And I think that each quarterback wants to play this game with a faster tempo. They want to get the plays in quickly, get in and out of the huddle quickly, take just a few seconds at the line of scrimmage and survey the defense, and then attack. And I think that we'll see both offenses try yeah, to... Yeah, we back. Let's get it. My little brother here, man. Let's go. Two one and one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week. Let's beat these mugs. Beat them for the first time for once. Let's go. Come on, we ain't wasting no time. Let's go. We on that. Not today. Not today. Come on, dog. The numbers for McCaffrey last week, 18 carries. We can learn how to stop this motherfucker. We'd be in good shape. He's the only reason we're having trouble. I think he's going to go for over 100 yards in this game. On second down, McCaffrey. There we go, by him. That's what I'm talking about. Encouraging the guys who are going out there and helping them when they come off the sidelines during the game by giving them some tips on what they see and what they've experienced. That's true teamwork. And if you want to get to the playoffs, if you want to have a big push, you have to have that on your squad. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's got the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Let's get it. We got to force a turnover today, man. Our team thrives off a of turnover. Oh my god, did he catch that? Oh 
Let's go. Okay, there's a flag holding. That's coming back. Here we go. They're cooking. Damn right, they're cooking. That's San Francisco. You know who that is? It's one of the best offenses in the league. Here we go. Make a stop. There we go. Let's make some defensive adjustments by overall. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Dude, like, come on. That should be pissing me off, man. Do all that just to give up the first down. Earl brought in the fucking backfield. Lay down, bitch. Lay down. We're not playing. We're not playing. Superstar defensive end coming in big. We can't have that. We can't have Debo Samuel on a linebacker. We cannot have that. Now, third and 14. If they get this, just hang the game up. Just hang the game up if they get this. Hey, we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, man. Now let's go down and put points on the board. Even though they didn't find the end zone, they have to be pretty pleased with how they moved the ball on the ground because we know that that was one of their big goals in this game. And that really Christian McCaffrey has a big day every single time we play him. Just about everyone's involved. It's not just the guy carrying the football. It's the one blocking court both inside and on the perimeter. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself. Brendan McKinney. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Rook. Got a lot to prove there, young buck. And we're playing with a banged up offensive line, which is not, oh my God. My lineman literally turned his back to the man he was supposed to block. to make a play here. To throw on third down, McKinney. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball three and it's fourth down. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is away. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt. No return. Let's go. We got to find a way to stop this mode. It's mainly Christian McCaffrey. What the hell? Bro, it dragged my player away from him. I was going for the quarterback the whole time. And it dragged my player away from him. Fuck out of here, man. Who do you think this dude is? I swear, if I could sack him one good time. One good time. That's all I'm asking for. Jesus Christ, man. Down. This is McCaffrey. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. Credit the tackle to Darius Slay. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. 
Come on, we need to get him. Get him. Oh my God. Wow. Fucking. It's a first down following a gain of three. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll be brought down. Go, we need to make him fumble. Let's go. We're going to blitz here. We're going to blitz here. I don't like how they're running the ball. From the 27, Purdy. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. The Niners on third down. They've been good. Three Come on, third down. Here it's third and three. Now Purdy. Wow. Wow. His passing is fucking perfect. Wow. I hate playing this fucking team. I'm gonna keep hitting him? I'm gonna keep hitting him. I'll make him not want to run that shit. Dude, like, come on. What the fuck are we doing? I swear, bro, I hate this fucking team. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, man, let's go do something with the ball, man. Back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra Okay, let's go. See if Rondell can beat him off the line. That's caught by Rondell Moore. Let's go. Let's get him in that same defense. Let's go. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And they're going to get this down to about the 17 yard line here. Seems as if the pass we go. We in good. We in a good position, man. We in a good position. And you can see the momentum because now they're going to get the patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages and they're finding the open holes in the defense. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Back to throw. Shit. What the fuck? What? 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 Oh, hell no. What? Where the fuck does that happen at, bro? That play will be on the minds of everyone who's... Bro, nobody's in your face. Oh my God. Why didn't my running back catch the ball? The that was a decent pass. Bro, like, come on. I can't do this shit, bro. 
And as the offense begins another drive here, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they Fucking. get a drive in the end zone. I swear, bro. pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because... I just want a quarterback that can make the simple fucking throw. And man, is that too much to fucking ask? Come on, make him fumble. This game not over. Put two minute pieces on this defense, not to make his ass fumble. Here we go. In the red zone, he gonna throw a pick. Oh my God, he playing just like this. Purdy now to throw. Oh my God. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and ten at the 49-yard line. Oh. Up the gun, McCaffrey. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Are we ever going to win with this damn team, bro? Here's Purdy. What are they doing? Man, I'm about to start running zone because they can't fucking man cover these people. Look, I'm gonna have to run zone around here. Wow. 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 Bro, I am. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. No fumbles, no turnovers. Get every first down. Bro, oh my god, bro. Sick of this shit. Yeah. To throw again on second down. Purdy. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Come on. Come on. It's about time. About damn time. Just get us some space. Jesus. They get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. What the? Second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Steve is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. What? What throw is that? So tired, bro. So tired. He fumbles the ball. Picked up by Greedy Williams. Let's go. And now we got field position. Now we have field position. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's it fly to Monroe St. Brown. Had to take the shot. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Let's go. Throwing again. McKinney. Oh, my. Incomplete. A nice job of running and 
Come on, we need points off of this. We need points. Oh now. I'm on rock. Same. Wow. Oh. Okay. He's he's mid. What the fuck? Oh no. That's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. They're gonna do that. I'm not even gonna kick the field goal. Here comes the Cardinals punter. Fucking Madden. As he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Where, bro? Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And control of the football. Amount of bullshit they let these people do on this game. They'll start with the options. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we have reached halftime with our score tenth. No, that's not even waste time. We get right back to this week three matchup. Come on. We got to put points on the board. I'm sorry. My quarterback has to be better than that. He's got to make the right throws. Since his offense made in the locker room, haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter oh. three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ground told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition we go. Defending the pass here. Settle down, make the right pass. Let's go. That's caught by Juan Williams. Good throw by uh, McKinnon. Come on. Off the play fake. McKinney. Let's throw it out. Nobody's open. Let's go, man. We need to be able to run the ball. Here we go. Let's go to stuff on the edge. Tough run. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Touchdown, Arizona. There we go. Way to respond. Come out. Why is this doing this? Why is it doing this, bro? But yeah, way to come out from halftime and, and respond. All we need to do is hit their quarterback in the mouth. Make him fumble the ball. Stop Christian McCaffrey, and we got a chance, bro. We have never beaten this team. I'm tired of losing to this team. Come on. My quarterback want to play like Davis Mills in Cameron franchise. <laughs> that tour strain. Give me a break. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score. That I want to play like Davis Mills. What you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that momentum stays in your camp. And he'll go down at the 26. Come on, man. Stop letting these boys punk you off.
Come on, tackle him. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. What the hell? Oh my god, bro. I'm going to have to go back to running zone. Because we can't man up nobody. Yeah. So I notice every time I call a man defense, we get beat every time. So I'm about to just run strictly zone. And see if that helps. Bro, come on, man. Come on, man. Fucking. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They did what they had to do to start the fuck is my screen shaking? I'm at home for it. I'm at home. Let's go. Amon Ross St. Brown on a big catch. He's been dominant for us. We got to get him more involved. Jesus, man. We go. And they'll work this down inside the 30. One of the things you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. Come on. But in this situation, I need you to get open, Amon Ra. And that's caught. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Let's go, Kenny. Oh my god. Oh my god. I do not think we'll get this, but let's run it anyway. What the f oh. My quarterback makes a horrible fucking throw. Oh, man. They're trying to make me lose to San Francisco, bro. My QB, man, the rookie. Overthrew. Two touchdown passes in this game already. We need to stop here. We need a fumble. We need, we need something. We need some, something quick. Can we go ahead? Man, don't give them nothing.
This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here's a throw out wide complete to his right side. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Purdy with it on third and long. Get him! Let's go get the ball! And we on the ball! Let's go! Let's go! That's what I've been saying we needed, bro. That's what I've been saying we needed. Come on! Let's go, man. This our house. This our house, man. Oh no. He shouldn't have done that. He left Amon Ra. Amon Ra St. Brown. Pass is behind him. Let's go. Juan Williams on the catch. Touchdown Cardinals. Beautiful placement by the rookie quarterback. Let's go. Come on. Man, this feel like the Super Bowl, man. <laughs> we ain't beat this team in four years. In, no, actually three years. Come on, man. And our defensive adjustments seem to be working. We got that zone defense. They're just too dominant to be playing man against. Ed Oliver on the pressure. Let's go. Oh, no. Tampa. To throw once more on second and ten. Purdy. And this time he's got the hook up. It's complete. We can't give him no momentum. But he takes it up to the 40. There's Purdy on first and ten. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they're ruled incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. McCaffrey on the counter. We go get him. Get his ass. Don't play with him. Shy of the 45 despite some powerful running. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Throwing here, Purdy. Broughton on the pressure. Yes! He has to throw it away. Defense comes up with a big stop. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Here's Williams to return. It'll be a 41-yard punt given five on the return. And the cards will take over first and ten. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. All right. Our running game hasn't been dominant today. But we need to, we just need to play smart. We just need to play smart. That's all. They'll start on the ground here on first down. 43 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence. We go. They gave up a significant run. Come on. Fuck it. And now you how do we stop them? And do I have enough confidence to make a play? Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Now a shotgun snap is a look to throw. Oh, my God. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, what? it a fourth down. Well done. Here comes the Where was he throwing it? As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch single four and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. So first and ten now from the 30. 
The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. I refuse to believe that was our only chance at winning this game. Our defense is really starting to show, show up in the second half. Let's go, big tackle. Big tackle. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. They don't get it. And they'll be punting this football, baby. Let's go. The clock is running down. Let's go. We haven't beaten this team in three years. Come on. We need this. We need this. We have the momentum. We haven't been able to run the ball today. So I'm not even going to waste the time trying to run the ball. Let's go. Amon Ross St. Brown. Makes the grab. And that's caught. He makes the grab. Wow. Let's go. Let's go to rookie on the run. <laughs> we are about to beat the San Francisco 49ers. We haven't beaten this team in three years. Wow. I am trying to milk this clock so much. I don't want to give them a chance to have the ball. Good block by Rondell Moore. Kenny Brackett is shredding this defense. And the phenom out of Georgia, the rookie. We're going to let this time roll. We're not even going to force it, guys. We're not even going to force this thing. We made some big plays today. Amon Ross St. Brown is an X Factor. My new wide receiver, he's an X Factor. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things. San Francisco starting to freak out now. And we're going to make them burn the second timeout right here. Here's a handoff out of the gun. It's a flag on the play. What can the flag be for? Holding. You can't do that, bro. Alright, let's go. Fuck that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jesus, man. Okay, if we run it here. If we run the ball here, they burn that last time out. We kick the field goal and we win the game. That's the plan. And that's in. We are good. Now, all we do, play defense for one fucking minute. Can you do that? Can you play defense for one minute? That's all. That's all I'm asking. One minute. With no timeouts. No timeouts. Just tackle them inbounds. Don't give up a deep pass. Let's go. They're passing the football. We know they're passing. Pressure. 
He's tackling in bounds. Brock Purdy under. Oh my God! Oh my God! And he's level. Purdy under pressure. That's caught by Kittle. Kittle's down, and they're still not in field goal range. Three seconds left. They won't have time for a field goal. They're going to have to go deep. Darius Slay on the coverage. And that's broken up. Your Cardinals. Oh, my God. He caught that. And your Arizona Cardinals beat the San Francisco 49ers for the first time in three years in a nail-biting victory. Brent McKinney started the game off with an interception. Ended up coming back, throwing for over 200 rushing yards. Keeping us in the game. Didn't hang his head not once. That's what I'm talking about. That's... That is a quarterback. Two passing touchdowns for Brent McKinney. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Tennessee Titans come to town. Meanwhile, for wow. Let's take a look at these stats. And they'll try and turn things around Brock Purdy, 247, no touchdowns. Brent McKinney, two Bears. passing touchdowns, one interception. Kenny Brackett, 76 yards rushing. And he came up big for us in the end. So both of our rookies came up big. That is what I'm talking about. Amon Ross St. Brown, over 100 yards receiving. And he earned his X Factor. He was already a superstar. All he had to do was make some big plays, and he earned his X Factor. He has been phenomenal. He had 200 yards receiving last week and came up big again this week. Huge addition to this team. Wow. That was epic. Finally beating a team that's beat us for three years straight. Let's go. And we'll be taking on Tennessee at home next week. Wow. If we get past Tennessee, we play the Texans and the Panthers, two teams we should absolutely maul. So I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. Man, Earl Broaden is on the way to earning his X Factor as well. He has been absolutely phenomenal. Let's check in on our quarterback. And hopefully my little brother going to stream his, his uh, thing after this. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, glad we got this shit underway, man. Let's do it. Well, yeah. Glad, man. Let's do this. So we got two players that earns an X Factor. Um, Amon Ross St. Brown and Earl Broughton. Wow. Catch y'all next week, man. I love this. It was a hot one. We'll be at home against Tennessee. Peace.